Yo, what is going on guys? Super Agent Carter here and welcome back to another tutorial. So I was thinking about it in my head. I should start doing tutorials again. And this time it's gonna be based on Switch. So now I'm gonna be doing maybe double tutorials, maybe singles if it goes well. But first of all, we're gonna have to go to the basics. So this is the Switch setup tutorial. This is how to install custom firmware uh on the latest version on the Switch. It's on 2020. So you already know we're about to get like I'm gonna show y'all it's gonna be kind of detailed a little bit so y'all can know what the heck is going on. It's kind of kind of for beginners on people that uh like just started wanting hacking your switch and or if you want to update to the latest custom firmware. So let's begin. So first of all, you you'll need uh the latest atmosphere, you want to download that. And uh, what you also want to need is a uh, software to boot up the payload, which is called Tegra RCM GUI. So this is what it looks like. This is how you boot up your uh, payloads and stuff. But I'll get to that, what the payload is, uh, like when we actually get to the thing, all right? So if you want to click on download latest release, it takes you to here. Well, hold on. It, everything's on the link in the description so when you're on when you're in this page you scroll all the way down to here and it'll say it right here and uh, as you can see you want to download uh, the zip file not the MSI the zip file and then everything will be right here all right okay now once you have your files you want to extract both of them not the same you don't have to extract them at the same time but just both of them so I'm gonna extract those. All right. I already have the files for them, so I basically don't need them. So once you have your atmosphere, you wanna um, make sure you have your uh, SD card on you. If you have a micro SD card, put your, your adapt, SD card adapter, or if you have a micro SD card slot, put it in your computer and uh drag all the files that's don't worry about this this is i'm already like back my switch just drag and drop it on the roof that sd card don't do any, you don't have to do everything just uh since i already have the files i can just replace them it really doesn't matter but i don't think yours will say that if you say that just replace the files and then everything will be good that's basically that's basically it for that part oh my shush phone all right that's basically it for that part and then uh once you get the tiger rcm you want to well go to it well once you extract you'll see the folder you click on the folder and then uh and you'll just be able to boot this this uh picture up and then once you boot the uh thing in the folder it'll pop up tiger rcm so payloads a payload is like it's just something to help boot the custom firmware because without a payload how are you gonna boot it up it's, it's something that uh, switch hackers do these days. I don't know. It's just that you need payloads to boot up. But I'm pretty sure they give you a payload if you go to uh, Atmosphere. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, here it is. Reboot payload bin right here. So I already have mine, but I'm going to show y'all just in case y'all don't know what y'all doing. So you click on the folder and then um, click on downloads. They'll go to it and oh, whoops, I went to the wrong one. All right, click on downloads. You go to the atmosphere folder, you go to atmosphere, and you go to reboot payload bin. All right, now that we got that set up, we need to put our switch into custom firmware. So I'm going to uh, switch screens and show my switch. So I'll be right back okay so now that uh you did everything well on the pc way you already got your payload up now what you want to do is if you got like a usb c like cable plug that into your laptop or computer bada bam all right now if you have one of these oh, of course i dropped it like wow all right you need one of these babies or uh, you can uh, like, there's different ways to uh, boot into uh, like, what is it called? RCM mode. And, but the best way and the fastest and non-struggling way is to get 
an RCM jig. They're like a dollar on a dollar or two on uh, Amazon. They take a little bit to come, but you know, it's good. Just get it, please. You're, I recommend you getting this without struggling. But there's other ways to uh, boot it up without using this. You can use like a like a I think a hair clip or something like that. But uh, it'll be it'll be really good if you use the RCM jig. All right. So now that you got your RCM jig, you want to slide it in. Late. Okay, this is gonna be kind of hard putting it like with one hand, so I'm just gonna luckily I got a stand. So <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I don't know how much I'm supposed to do this, but you should not do this. You just slide it in on the right side. You slide it in on the right side of your uh, the Joy Con slot on your Switch. I don't know how to explain stuff, but yeah, and now like cover of pins one and two for you just top top notch rcm love it using it please buy it. if you don't you're, you're gonna have a hard time using the freaking like hair pick whatever it's called but yeah uh and now what you want to do now that you got that in there you want to hold a uh, uh, power not power hold plus in uh power like for like four seconds Oh, my switch is already on, hold up. Okay, now, yeah, as I was saying, hold plus and power at the same time for like four seconds. Okay, now I hold it for four seconds. Uh, you wanna plug it in, make sure it's uh, the USB is in the computer, and then you plug it in to your switch. Bada bam, all right. Now that it's plugged into the switch, it should say this. RCM, okay. Oh, if it focus into it. Yeah. It should say RCM okay. So, and then that's when you want to, if you got your file ready, make sure that you did that already. You want to inject the payload. All right. Okay. This is failed to, oh yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> I forgot to take the freaking thing about SD card. Make sure you uh take the uh, SD card out of your computer and put it back in your thing. Sorry. Hold on. Let me do that right now. Right, okay, I put it back in. You only get this uh, message when the SD card is not in your uh, uh, system. But now it's in there. You just want to press power. That's it. And it'll reboot. It'll, it Bam. Boot into custom firmware. E. See, top notch. Listen to your boy. Even though I made a few mistakes, it still worked. You already know. This, I, I promise y'all, I this will not break your switch. But... There's a only a couple of things you guys need to know is about banning. If y'all uh, new to this, don't go online. I swear to goodness, if you go online on custom firmware, you're you're getting risk of like it's the risk of getting banned. So to know that you're on custom firmware, you wanna um, go to settings and scroll all the way down to system, and it will say it would say if it focus, please. Thank you. I, I guess I guess not. There we go. All right. It will say current version nine point two point zero, uh, and the custom firm will be AMS zero point ten dot five. Uh, and yeah, about a bam, you got yourself a hack switch. So all you gotta do is just not go online. But if you wanna go back online, you're gonna have to restart your switch, and it'll turn back into original custom firmware. And then if you wanna boot back up, you do the same exact process. You uh. It um usually when you keep booting up the app, it'll already save the uh, file for you, and you can also add it. Press this plus button to add just like your favorites, and it'll be like scrolled down this list, so you can like easily navigate it. It'll start from the top, and you can just double click it or just just click it once and then eject payload. I'm pretty sure a double clicking is recommended, but you just inject the payload, and then it'll boot it back up to everything, and bam. So. That's all I got to say for now. Just don't go online if you want to play, like, my games. If you guys want to know how to download, like, NCPs and my games, like, all that, and, like, cheats and all that, just comment down below, and I'm going to continue this series if, like, it gets successful. So, I hope you guys like it. If you got any problems, if something happened, just comment down. I'll comment back as fast as I can. I don't care how, like, old the video is. I'm still going to comment back. Because I'm not like that person that just like, oh, I made the video like two days ago. I'm not going to reply to y'all comments. But hope you guys like this. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.